Hey friends, time for the next tutorial and today I'm going to be doing two in one, satin stitch and short and long stitch. Full disclosure, I really hate doing satin stitch for some reason, so I'm not going to do a big section. So what you want to do is take your thread, start here, and this is the first step. But what you want to do is put your needle through like this and come in as close as you can to where the last where you originally put that thread through, like this. And then you wanna do the same thing again, and you wanna get as close to where this thread just came out of so you can get coverage on a whole area. So, the easiest way is to just stick the needle through the fabric like that rather than do over, under, over, under, because that's when you start making mistakes, honestly. So. And it does help to draw lines so you can make the section even. But see, this is how you get like kind of blanket coverage for areas. I don't know what my beef is with satin stitch. It's just like, <laughs> I hate doing it. I don't really know why. I think it's just the process annoys me. Cause I'm gonna do a couple more just to give you guys the gist. Okay, gotta go a little bit more to this way. This isn't perfect just because I'm doing it in a tutorial, but see, that's what an area of satin stitch looks like. So I'm going to call it quits on that one and move on to short and long stitch, which is arguably way more fun. So what you want to do is have two colors and it's kind of like you can blend colors together. So it's exactly what it sounds like, short and long. So I'm going to start here. The first stitch I'm going to do is a long one. So I'm going to come to this middle thing right here. And then I'm going to go to this line here, which is going to be for the short stitches. And then you want to vary, have a variety. So every other stitch, one short, one long to get the look. And if you want to do like a more comprehensive shading, you can vary the lengths of each one, just as long as they're not even. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just kind of gonna do just two lengths of this. just a couple more and then we'll have the first color in here alrighty and I'm gonna use pink for the next color just to show you the contrast but normally you would do colors that are close to each other so you could do kind of like a variation in color to achieve depth and shading. So I'm gonna use this pink now. And what I'm gonna do is start here. And then I'm gonna go in the hole that this stitch came out of. I'm gonna come up down here one should have been longer actually oopsies see embroidery is all full of oopsies lots of mistakes and I ain't afraid of showing it because progress equals perfection so you just want to like take note of where you came in from on these stitches and go back through that area
And then to continue it on, if you're doing a bigger area, would to be to come in and do a different color here. But I'm just gonna fix this, otherwise it's gonna bother me. But yeah, so you get the idea. This can is another way to largely cover an area, and I use this a lot for shading and just like filling in large, colorful areas of an embroidery. But there it is, satin stitch and short and long stitches.